Okay, so we're back and we are now getting into the nitty gritty of kind of what we're going to be going over over these next few audios. Uh, audios, And I think the first thing that we really, really, really need to talk about is how the heck did we get here in the first place? What is it that has led to how we're feeling in our body and how we're experiencing our health day to day? You know, if you don't understand how you got here, you can't really begin to unwind how you got here. And a lot of us haven't even really thought of that. You know, someone where we really, really enjoy um, his work is Gabor Mate. And he talks about, I don't know if he calls it a theory or whatever he calls it, but it's called the biopsychosocial, I don't know if it's a theory, let's call it a theory. And what it really means is the biology of the individual is inseparable from the psychology and social aspects of their life or their environment. And yes, you could throw nutrition into that. So essentially, you cannot separate the person from the environment or the mind from the body. And I think one of the most important things that we that gets overlooked is we're you know, going through this, this journey of healing and, and really trying to figure out what we need is that you really are an accumulation of everything that you've been exposed to on a physical, physiological, emotional, and mental level from your conception to this present moment. So your body has been exposed to all these stresses and adapted to it. And one of the things that we really want to point out is if we can adapt, and that's what we're designed to do, into a dysfunctional state, then clearly we can adapt right. out of that dysfunctional state into some more function. Your body wants health. It's always striving for health. And this audio series isn't talk about high blood pressure or high cholesterol, but that's actually your body's way of compensating to kind of keep you healthy, as crazy as it might sound, right? So from a kind of more uh, textbook view, how did you get here? Well, we essentially should be, or we are born into homeostasis. That's where our body wants to be. What is homeostasis? That's basically balance. We could say it's a balance between the internal environment and the external environment, the balance of the bacteria in our gut, etc. It's basically balance. It's when we're relaxed. It's when our physiology is not in a survival state. And, you know, one of the things that we talk about a lot is that it's really hard to achieve balance when we don't live in a world that has a lot of balance. Right, right, right. <laughs> and we're not saying you should always be in this state no. because it's actually not good to always be in this state, right? Um, now, when we bounce out of homeostasis, and Hans Hilly talks a lot about this in his work. Um, he's the guy who coined the term stress. Um, when we bounce out of homeostasis, we go into the uh, pathophysiological next you know, stage of disease. That's where we're seeing physiological changes. And that's basically a stress, right? Whatever that stress may be. It doesn't matter the stress, right? Stress isn't something. Stress is actually a physiological reaction in the body from the brain, the nervous system, down through the organs, you know, the adrenal glands, your immune system, and your gut, right? So... We should understand when that's going on, but most of us don't know when that's going on, or we associate tension with that. And you can have tension and not be stressed, so it's really not a good indicator. Um, we talk about this in our work, so you'll learn more about that. But we should be able to bounce out of this pathophysiological change back to homeostasis. The problem is most don't know how to do that Um you know, with nutrition or with other aspects of their life. And what happens is they move further into the, what we call stages of disease, which is they end up in the pathomorphological phase. So in the, the pathomorphological phases, you know, st or stage of disease, that's when we start to say physical changes. It could be changes within the cell, within the bone, within the muscle, within the blood, whatever. And that's when we know we're kind of, you know, working towards disease or death, right? Now we're not doing things in our life nutritionally or whatever to bounce back towards homeostasis and we're moving further from it. And you can kind of right now think about that and probably feel that in your body, right? 
We actually teach that in our, in our programs or in our work because we use body temperature and pulse, which is looking at cellular change, which is, you know, pathophysiological, but also pathomorphological. And then if we don't do thing or make any more changes, we move to the fourth phase or stage, which is symptoms. And that's when most of us go to the doctor. You know, uh, or most women go to the doctor. Most men still sit around and say, I can do it. I'm okay. Right? That's what we do. Um, How do you know that, Josh? Yeah, because I'm a guy and that's what we do. We know everything. <laughs> Are you kidding me? We don't need any help. The only way we're going to go to the doctor, well... I always, we're moving on. We're moving on. But if it doesn't work. But the bottom line is if we don't do anything then, that's, a, that's America right there. Then we go to disease... And then it's kind of a little bit too late. Then that's when most people go to the doctor and say, I need help. I need a medication. I need a supplement. But you're so far from homeostasis. And then, of course, the next stage or phase is death, right? But think about that. If it takes you that long to get towards symptoms and disease, how long is it going to take you to unwind that in the system? It can be done, but it takes time. And how important is is it going to be to really understand how you got there? It's not to break it down and get all, you know, hyper-focused on those things, but it's really just to, again, almost to some degree, allow you to be a little bit more gentle with yourself yeah. <laughs> as you move through the healing process. Right. I mean, there there is no end date to healing, right? As long as we're consistent, as long as we create awareness as we heal, as as long as we have patience and trust, and we have courage through that, you can actually get to that place and rewind what's going on. Now, what happens? Well, most of us react, right? Instead of responding mindfully, most of us react mindlessly. And we might go to the doctor, get labs done... And then they recommend a medication and we're pissed off because they're recommending meds and no one wants to help me. Well, you're seeing a doctor. That's what they do. Or some of us might go see a... More of an alternative or naturopath who is going to, again, do some lab testing, provide some supplementation, maybe some basic nutritional um, recommendations. But in all reality, they're basically taking the same approach as your allopathic it's doctors. called greeniopathy. It's the same philosophy. They're doing labs, but they're giving you supplements instead of medications. So you're not really going to get to a different place because you're treating the lab and you're not treating the person. And just as an example, a lot of, you know, let's just use an adrenal lab as an example. You can treat the adrenals, but if you're not treating why the adrenals are getting so fatigued in the first right. place, you're missing the point. Right. So it's really about, again, understanding yourself. And what we have to teach you here is really going to provide you that opportunity to come more into relationship with that over time. So I think what we want to talk about is what is the solution? You know, I think we have to really begin to not look for things to fix us, but begin to actually take action and right. start doing things, create change. That's really where the solution is. If you want change, then you've got to change. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's like Jeannie said, you have an adrenal problem, you can't take a supplement, you're not changing how you're living, and that goes for everything. So we have to think about, number one, the principle of individuality. We have to think about what, right, how did I get here? What is going on in my life? What has gone on in my life? And what do I need to heal? Right? We're, we all have uh, a healing puzzle. We all have different pieces to the healing puzzle. But what are your pieces to your healing puzzle? And we all have to define for ourselves, what is our definition of health? Now, one of my mentors used to say, the definition of health is taking responsibility for yourself. And I truly believe that because that's, you know, doing versus taking. Instead of just taking something versus doing. But we have to define that even more for ourselves to say, what is really my definition of health? What am I going to do to create that definition? And a lot of the times you're really trying to accomplish something. You're really working towards it. We know it because we're talking to you. You guys, you, you all are looking really to find what it is that's going to help you get healthy. And what I think the question needs to be is what are we not doing to get healthy? You know, we need to really sit down and think about how did we get here? That's honestly, you know, right when Jeannie said that, it's, it's so true. And I say that to clients all the time. Instead of thinking about 
what more foods can I eat to help me sleep? Or what else can I take to, uh, to regulate my cholesterol and give me more energy, you know, or reduce inflammation? Why don't we just think about the, the, the things in our life that are causing inflammation, right? So, so simple, right? Super it, simple. Just go do it. Right. And this is, <laughs> it, it's not simple, but just uh, sit down. <laughs> just sit down before moving on and just think about it. It could take you a minute. It could take you an hour. It could take you a week, right? Health is not a destination. It's a journey. So embrace it and have fun with it. Sit down and think about it. How did you get here? What happened in your life? And write three things down that you feel got you here. And write three things, this might not happen overnight, that you can do to change. So, you know, now one of the biggest issues that we find with, with, with most people is it's very overwhelming. We look at this end point of where we need to get or where we have in our minds that we want to get. And it's just an overwhelm almost to the point of paralysis. We just don't do anything or we're grabbing at just about anything to accomplish that goal. And, um, I mean, we hear all the time, I go into the grocery store and I, I'm paralyzed. I don't even have to buy anymore because everyone says this is good or that is bad. Or, you know, I've tried everything and worked with everyone, right? Yeah. I mean, does that sound familiar? And the funny thing is, is even when it comes to food, because that's really what we're going to be talking to you about here as we move forward, is that we have so little faith in food anymore. Because we have tried so many diets. We right. have made so many changes and it hasn't worked. So what's the difference here? Well, we're going to show you exactly what that difference is. In our next audio, we're going to be sharing with you the number one thing you can be doing right now to start reaching that goal.